Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to install this update that is KV5070773. Because of this error code that is 0x800F0991. Now the first step is to retry the update. So when you update it, if, when it fails, if you see retry option over here, hit retry. Sometimes a simple retry fixes the problem. So retry and then check. If that does not work, pause and restart the update. So over here you can see pause update. So click on pause over here. And once pause, resume updates and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to run this command. So type in CMD in Windows search box. Make a right click on command prompt app. Make sure that you run command prompt as an administrator only. Click on yes to allow. And copy all these commands one by one. Paste it. Hit the enter key. Now this process will take some time. It will run a scan. Once the scan is 100% complete, copy the second command. Paste it over here. Hit the enter key. And once the second scan is 100% complete, run the third scan. So copy this command. Paste it over here. Hit the enter key. Once the third scan is 100% complete, restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can check. Still not working. Start these services. So type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. Now find app readiness. Make a double click on app readiness. Set this to automatic. Click on apply. Click on start if highlighted. And then click on OK. Make a right click. Click on restart. Now find Windows Update. Scroll down. Here you can see Windows Update. Make a double click on Windows Update. Set this to automatic. Click on Apply. Click on Start if highlighted and then click on OK. Make a right click and then click on Restart. Now find Background Intelligent Transfer Service. Make a double click. Set this to automatic. Click on Apply. Click on Start if highlighted then click on OK. Again make a right click and then click on Restart. Now once this is done, check still not working the next step is to now the next step is to run these command these commands are provided okay you can ignore this step we already did it now the next step is to use microsoft update catalog now for this you can open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website over here write down the name of the update that is kb5070773 Click on search. Now type in WINVER in Windows search box. Click on WINVER run command and check your version. So in my case, it's, in my case, it's version 25H2. And then check the system type. So go to system and then scroll down. Click on about. And here you can see system type. Now for me, it's a uh, Windows 11 version 25H2 x64 based system. This is the right one for me. If you have Windows 11 uh, version 24H2 x64, then this is the right one for you. For me, this is the right one. Click on download. And then click on this KB5070773. And then once the download is complete, click on this file and follow the on screen instruction. And then you can install this update manually and then restart your computer and after the system restart you can check still not working the next step is to use fix problems using windows update option for this open windows settings go to windows update advanced option recovery option and then fix problems using windows update this will reinstall your current version of windows your apps files and settings will be preserved so click on reinstall now this process will take some time and once this is complete, restart your computer. And after the system restart, when you go to Windows Update, Update History, you will see the repair version of version 25H2 and 24H2. And now you can try to install the update and then check. Still not working. The last step is to use Media Creation Tool. Now for this, you can open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Scroll down. Media Creation Tool here you can see. Download now. And then you can run this exe file. Now once you run this exe file, uh, click on accept over here and then by default Windows 11 would be selected click on next select ISO file over here and then click on next save it to desktop save let the download complete this process will take some time 
and once this this is done click on finish and then let this close automatically it will take few seconds or be maybe a minute to close now go to desktop make a double click on windows iso file make a double click on setup file click on yes to allow click on next click on accept and here you can see ready to install by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so make sure this is checked and then hit install after the installation log into the computer and then you can check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to install this update successfully on your windows 11 computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel